Here's how to fix missing iOS emojis on Android. Now, if you have an Android phone, but you find that your iOS or iPhone friends have emojis that you don't have, I'll show you how to fix it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is let's open up messages here. And you should be able to get to your emojis by tapping on the little smiley face here at the bottom left, or either if you're on Gboard or a Samsung keyboard or whatever the default keyboard is, it might be in a slightly different spot. Now you can see, I can see all of these emojis that I currently have as available to me. Now you should be able to access all of the same ones that an iPhone running iOS, the latest iOS should be able to get. If you find that you can't get those, we're gonna swipe up from here and get into your settings to do a couple of things. Tap on settings from here. And now from here, we're gonna scroll down until we get to the option that says general management and tap on that. From general management, you can see here, I can go to Gboard settings or the keyboard settings for your specific keyboard. Now, once you're in here, for instance, on Gboard, we're just gonna scroll down and tap on emojis, stickers, and GIFs. Make sure everything is toggled on. So go through this list and make sure everything is toggled on so that you get access to all of the features associated with emojis. Now, let's go back out of here, back again. And if you have a default set to Samsung or whatever keyboard, you can also go into the Samsung keyboard and now from here, you can see if I scroll down to the bottom is an option to reset to default settings. Tap on that. And now you can see a bunch of different things on here. Basically just go through this list and hit reset on all of these different ones, including clearing the cache. Now we've reset both of those keyboards. We can also go back out of here, go back to the beginning, and we're going to go down or rather up a bit and tap on apps from here. On the app section, you're going to find your specific keyboard. In this case, let's say we want to use Gboard as an example. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to Gboard, tap on it. And now I'm going to scroll down and tap on storage. And I'm going to clear the cache and clear the data. Essentially, this helps to reset everything, and when it does reset it, a lot of times it gives you the latest features. Now, if you find that you're still having trouble with it, we're going to try to update that keyboard to the latest version. Now, if you're on Gboard, all you need to do is go to the Play Store here, and you can from here just search for Gboard. And if you can see next to it, it says update. Just update the keyboard to the latest version to get all of those iOS emojis. And now if you use just the default built-in keyboard on your phone, we're instead going to swipe up and go to settings. And I'm going to go back out of here, back again. I'll tap on software update and then download and install. And I'll just install the latest Android operating system, and that will come and update the basically keyboard that is also associated with that Android operating system, and they'll all be updated with the latest emojis. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.